Welcome back to No Man's Sky, my friends and fellow travelers. This is Alan Paul. So we're going to be going back to our permadeath playthrough. And as you can see, we're about 2 hours and 24 into it. Go ahead and get started. And pick up right where we left off. So again, I want to welcome you all to the channel. Welcome you all to the videos. This is going to be episode 4 that you're experiencing here. <clears throat> and we are basically doing a playthrough of a, in a permadeath mode. Of course, we're going to take this through the entire storyline, including all the latest updates, including Echoes. And we're also going to do as many of the sub um, missions as possible. Uh, we have our main core missions that we're going to be doing, like the Artemis storyline. We're going to do the sub missions as well. With the settlement, we're going to kind of gloss over a little bit. I'm going to do a special episode on that this winter where I'm going to go over an entire settlement playthrough. And we're going to work our way not only through the Artemis storyline and Echoes, but we're going to also go another step. And we're going to take the second the second galaxy we get to after the Artemis mission, we're going to take to the center of the galaxy. So we're going to go all the way. This is going to be a very long series, and I hope you all enjoy it. So here we are. And uh, we'll go ahead and change my character's appearance as time goes by, too. We'll go ahead and get some of the freebies that I have in, sitting inside the uh, anomaly when we get a chance. So, All right, so we're supposed to go to that spot over there we need our fuel source so let's take a look at our log we only have the awakenings we have no secondary missions right now we have to follow the automatic guidance so let's go ahead and pick up where we left off and continue on our mission now each one of these videos is usually going to be you know uh, we'll try to stick to about 45 minutes or so a lot of them run a little bit longer but this way i can keep them all usually under an hour scan our planet it's a high it's a cold one obviously but We'll come back to that another time, if we decide to keep going there. Let's see what we got here. We've got this planet we're going to. It says there's a fuel source there, so we're going to go ahead and head there. But if it comes up that we can scan the planet, we will, if we get the right angle on it. There we go. All right, windswept, cactus flesh. Okay, so it's going to be a uh, kind of a desert-like planet here. Might be kind of warm and hot. I'm sure the storms will be fun. Lots more asteroids I've noticed in No Man's Sky since they've done their uh, latest update. So that's going to be interesting. Okipori 10. Wow, these are some tall mountains, man. Not too keen on that. Let's see, 20 seconds away. I'll be on the other side of this thing. It's approximate, so we should really start scanning soon. Up it over. Okay, should be very close by. Let's do a quick scan. I am seeing nothing. All right, so this is going to be a tough one because of this the way this planet is made, it's going to be really hard to find anything here. Let's go straight down real quick and we'll check down here. Anything? No, huh? All right. Let's go back up and over. We'll go up this very tall range. What a crazy looking place. Definitely wouldn't want to build a home here. I don't think we can scan from this far away. I think that's what the main problem is here. Very odd. Nothing. All right, let's go ahead and land. We'll take a look around. We'll land down here. This looks good. All right, how are we doing on supplies? Let me see. We got plenty of chromatic metal. We got some upgrades for storage uh, expansion. We don't want to keep this ship because we want to go to a dissonant system, like I said in my, my last episode. Uh, plenty of uranium. Let's move some stuff around, shall we? Ship system stuff we're going to put up there. Got some launch fuel just in case we need it. We're about 70% right now. Okay. And our hyperdrive could use, an, can use a boost. I doubt we can go to another system from here unless we get uh, more fuel. Okay. So now, let's see. Largest planet, huh? 
All right, so the good news is we've got a good amount of stuff here. Let me see, what are, how are we doing on oxygen? Not terrible. Not terrible. We could use more, though. We're going to gather it just right. There we go. There's another one over here, right? A couple of them, huh? Okay, I'm, not, I'm just going to take two pods this time. Okay, here we go. Oh man, it's tough getting up to these things. There we go. Whoop. We'll let them investigate. We're doing pretty good. That gave us a good ch good chunk of uh, oxygen. Yeah, we're up to 300 now, so we're in good shape. All right, let's take a look. So 380 is going to be that way. So probably up there, I'm guessing, but I can't be certain. So that's going to be fun to get up there. Yep, that's what I thought. Let's see if it'll give us... Ah, good. It's not taking anything out of our... Uh, Jetpack. Grab some oxygen while we go. See if we can get up the steep slopes here, man. Wow, this is terrible. See, even though it doesn't use up my jetpack fuel, it's using up oxygen like nobody's business out of your life support. All right, let's get up to this spot and we'll stop here for a moment. Hopefully you don't... Still lined up. Hopefully you don't fall, because in permadeath mode, this planet could be very, very deadly. Good grief. This is crazy. It's hard to keep your head... Focused up above because he keeps wanting to put your head down again. Ah, you see that up there? The purple icons indicating most of the time it indicates something like a. Oh, there's three of them over here. That usually means there's a, a thing there. I gotta watch my life support because I'm really low right now. Ah, okay, I think we made it. 10%. Yep, that's what we're looking for right there. Let's recharge our life support. Uh, let's use the dioxide. All right, good. Let's get some words. Yes, we can. It's better to understand as much as possible. It's going to be my word. I've learned five words. Yay! It's more than some of the people I talk to on the phone. Never mind. Side note. Ignore me. All right, let's see what we have to do here. Corvax monolith, heart of the anomaly. Structure is, this structure is unlike anything I've, ever, I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words from form themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? It feels strange responding to questions I'm sure that I'm being asked, but something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken. So that someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? I'm going to say it's last this time. I do not know how I'm being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again, again have they seen the crimson eye? Has the crimson eye seen them? Both. Definitely. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert. Alert, the boundaries fall, the walls collapse, your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. So we got ourselves a warp cell out of that, so that's sweet. And it's getting cold out. So we gotta make our way back into space, we gotta head back to our ship. Now this is the fun part. Just a heads up and a warning. We got a long ways down to get to this ship, and we are going to fall. Your best option is to control it as best as possible. And watch your jetpack. Watch the sides of the mountain. 
because you're not going to build up anything. And you can see I'm already halfway down and I'm not even halfway down the mountain. So I'm going to pull back a little bit and I'm going to try to stop. Ooh, hopefully I can survive this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we going to survive this just by sheer stupidity and dumb luck? Yes, we are. Holy mackerel, I can't believe we survived that. Ugh, I don't believe it. We got lucky on that. All right, made it back to our ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this warp cell, drop it in there. Now, we could have called the ship to us, possibly, but honestly, it probably wouldn't have worked very well. Um, would have used up my launch fuel somewhat, but I really am surprised I survived that. Okay, so we're going to make our way into space. And I'll tell you, I am not going to miss this planet at all. Okay, hang on. Nothing. Just still to explore nearby planets or search in a new system. All right, so let's check this real quick and see how many planets we have here, first of all. We only have three. So I really seriously, <clears throat> pardon me, doubt. There we go. That there's any planets worth even looking at here. Let's get around from the outside of this planet here, first of all. Okay, that one's one that we haven't scanned yet. It's a reeking planet, so there's really no planets worth anything here. So let's go ahead and get out of here. This one seems like the next one. I don't think it's going to give us any details on it, other than it's a G2. It's got a lot of planets to it, so let's go ahead and check it out. See what we can find here. All right. Any moment. All right, so what do we got here? That's not a very nice planet. First contact. Economy's like a two-class. Terraforming catastrophe. Okay, what about you? Hmm, incandescent salvageable scrap, selenium. So hot. Oh, we're getting an incoming message. Incoming transmission. Source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm... I'm going to identify myself. You left me. Why did you... Tell them you don't understand. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd just like the others. Ask about the others. There is no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. So now it's going to give me a direction, and it's going to tell me to go to coordinates. Okay. The coordinates are on this planet. This looks like a pretty cold place. Let's scan that one. Arctic. Oh, great. An aggressive sentinel. It's just what I want to see. Let's check out some of the others real quick. That doesn't look very pleasant. Torrid. Okay, good. Also a very hot planet. And finally, Dusty. Now we got this planet here, and there's another one on the other side of it. I should probably check that out. Let's just go around it real quick. Yeah, I think we got it. We already checked that one out, right? Okay. The other one is right there. Okay, and that's a sub-zero planet. Okay, so... Not a, not a lot of very hospitable planets here. And this one least of all. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what we find. I'm not liking the aggressive sentinels, so we're going to probably 
get attacked here, and I'm pretty sure my multi-tool doesn't have anything I can use. While I'm there. It's approximate location. So we'll come down. Now, it could be in a, a wrecked ship or something like that, so... First thing we're going to do, it might just be that place right there. I don't see anything else. I got a funny feeling it's going to be over here. But we got ourselves a landing pad, so let's go ahead and take advantage of that, shall we? Yeah, I don't see anything else. Okay. Least hospitable, huh? Alright, so that way. So we're going to head inside. Let's check things out while we're here. We always do some shopping. Yeah, this one has a bolt caster on board. That's something nice. And I doubt... Eh, it's got more slots open than the one I've got. How much money we got? We got 4.9 million, and we really could use a new ship, but if we can get to a dissident world, we'll be in better shape for a new ship. Yeah, yeah, I know it's an extreme sentinel planet. Oh my gosh. Let me see if it's going to stop. All right, it did. I'm tempted on getting this because it has the bolt caster and it has many slots available. It's costing me quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of money to get it. So I'm very tempted on just doing it anyway. We'll have to uninstall this and uninstall that. We just charged that up. That really upsets me though. Yeah, I'm going to do it. The more I was thinking about it. Now, it's really nothing else on board this I really need. I can't install that anyway. Okay. And it has an analysis visor on it already? Yeah, it does. So, we're going to go ahead and, I think, do this. I'm going to go ahead and exchange it, rather than just buy and add it. I mean, it's, I'm only getting 50000 43000 for the one I've got. So, and it's better in all respects. So, that'll be a starting point anyway. I mean, we don't have any supercharged slots or anything like that, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> and we'll put you over here. Pardon me, a little sniffly tonight. And there. And I do have... Why? I'll have to get more. Okay, that's okay. Use what we can. Alright, good. So that's a starting point. What do we got in the trade terminal? Can we sell anything? I didn't notice. We do have salvage data, but I do want to try to hang on to some of it. Let's sell off... 8 of it. So we get some of our money back there. Uh, let's see... I'll hang on to the Mordite. There's some of these things I just want to hang on to just in case we need them. Okay. What can we buy? Not a whole lot. It's got a Starship launch field, but I'm really not willing to pay 67000 for it. Alright, we're good for now. Grab some Nanites. Navigation data. There we go. Let's we'll grab stuff. Maybe we can go up and get stuff from here, but it's going to be just a few carbon. See? Literally. Uh, components. We'll check to see what they got. Hmm. Not a whole lot, but they do have the upgrades we can get, too. Blueprints. Let's see. Yeah, which we don't have any nanites to buy anyway. Advanced mining laser would be fabulous right about now. And it's only 75. We only have 61. Wait a minute. Discoveries? Can we upload some discoveries maybe? 
Yeah, that did it. Now we can get it now. So that's a good idea. Alright. So we're in good shape. Uh, we'll put you over here. We got the wiring looms. We'll need one hermetic seal and one carbon nanotube. Which we have the... You know, we can build them, but can we buy it? Hermetic seal. Alright, that'll work. I can, I can do the carbon nanotube. Not a problem. There we go. Excellent. Good deal. So now we have the upgraded mining beam too. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we're in good shape. Let's go find this. Got to watch out for any little sentinels. I don't see any popping up on me. Okay, it's probably going to be in that general direction. And it's cold out. Get close to the ground. Okay, it's over that way. But you see what I'm seeing, so I'm going to see if I can't grab this. So maybe it'll have cold protection in it or something, but we'll at least get some nanites out of it. Oh, starship launch fuel. That way. Uh oh. Keep running. Ah, looks like we found what we're looking for. Right there. No ship this time. We're going to have to be quick. Oh, you can't see me while I'm doing this. That's good. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. Extract the records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. You've got to be kidding me. Is that the one I just got? Nope, it's a pulse spitter. Cool. We're probably going to get scanned any second and have to get attacked. Come on, give me that. Where's the button? Grab what you can. And we're good. Okay, time to go. It's over here, so we got to head that way. One of eight. Two. Three. Four. How much time we got? 30 seconds. All right, got four of them already. All right, let's head to our ship. Uh, let's use the sodium. Looks like we got a lot of sodium on the way, so that's pretty good. Looks like we're getting away with this. Okay, good. Where's the ship? 
That's interesting. Over there. Oh, Gravitino Balls. Yeah, that's why they're so agitated. Alright, now we know. There. Alright, good deal. Let's head inside for just a moment and see what we've gotten so far. All right, good deal. Uh, this goes in my starship. Okay, this goes in the starship too. All right, we got a good amount of stuff in here. That's excellent. Okay, good, 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 good. And this and other worlds. Okay, so we got to search for Artemis. Hopefully we can get out of here without it checking us out. Good. Alright, we're in good shape. I only discovered four creatures, but... I didn't want to stay longer and, get, and find other stuff, because this system is just not hospitable to us. Alright, what do we got? Oh! Artemis Entity. We received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Looks like Priest Entity Nada has found us. Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. Tell the truth. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes? A proper introduction to our home. On we go. Off to the Space Anomaly. So, this is very good. So, what I'm going to do here... I mean, most of the stuff that I can get here is facades and stuff like that, but I am going to change my character appearance. furthest landing pad possible. I think, anyway. Pretty close. Okay, so first stop I'm going to make is over here. Let's see what we got. Uh, we're not going to create any items. We're not going to earn anything. We have Expedition Awards and Twitch Rewards. Let's go with the Twitch Rewards. Lots of decals. Let's change our items to... Building parts, gestures, appearances. Okay, so what do we got? Reality glitch. Let's see. Temporal star trail. I always like those on the ships. Uh, that would be an interesting helmet to wear all the time, huh? Kind of crazy looking. I'm not going to do the armored gear this time, I think. I think I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, let's see. Got the exotic, pardon me, the old version of the exosuit. That's nice. I like the streamlined. I'm going to go ahead and grab that while I'm here. Uh, let's see. I don't really particularly care for visages. I do like the helmets. Let's go with the first spawn. The golden one's a little bit too, uh, I don't know, weird. Figurines. Okay, that's good. Gestures, base building, all items, not owned. Companions. Don't need a companion right now. I could go with one of these multi-tools, but that would be a little bit of cheating. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just getting visual effects right now. And, of course, we could get a ship if we wanted to. You see, I've got a whole ton of different ships I can get from all the different things I've done so far. Uh, so, yeah, not going to do that either. I mean, because believe it or not, if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and grab, I think, is the golden vector in here? No, probably not. These are Twitch rewards. That's why. Because I could go to the Expedition Awards. And let me see here. Curiosities. Companions. Starships. See, I can get the Golden Vector, which is an S-Class ship, uh, if I wanted to. And really, I don't think that's a smart move. Got the Utopia Speeder, too, we could go for. But I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, appearances, again. I do like the Electric Jetpack Trail. Hmm. I'll have to make that choice later. We could do the constructs heads as well if we want to do the constructs as well. But I'm going to hold off on that stuff. Um, oh, I'd like that too. It's amazing. You could just sit here and just go. It's like going shopping, getting a candy store. I do want to get a different cloak. I've always liked that cloak that's always really, really sharp. But there's one that's even better than that. Uh, hold on. 
Let's see. It's in here someplace. Bear with me just a second. Nope, I think that's the one. I'll go ahead and grab it. Whale, whale stalker, stalker Cloak is really good, too. Got the Outlaw Cape. Got the Fearsome Visor. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's do the Fearsome Visor. Okay. We got Wayfarer's Helm, but I'm not as interested. Okay. That should be good. Again, these are all just appearances. They don't affect me in the game whatsoever. And if I die, I lose anything, every, everything anyway, so it really doesn't make a difference. So, head. We now have the first spawn. If I want to go with that, it looks pretty sharp. But we can go with the Fearsome Visor, too. I think that looks even sharper. We'll stick with this one. And I love it with the coloring. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. I really like that. Alright, so torso, gloves, legs, boots, backpack. I got the streamlined jetpack, but we're not going to see it with this. So let's go with this. So that looks really sharp. I like that. Stripes. Swoop. I don't really see any difference whatsoever. So we'll just leave it there. Alright, so... That should change things up a little bit. And where is the... See, we're on the backpack. Hold on. Style. Oh, it's the trail. So we do electric, reality glitch, or discordant. Let's go electric for now. I think that'll be pretty cool looking. Okay. That looks really nice. Yeah, you can't see it as much. But still, not bad. Let's go visit... Sent to Tinata. I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant, yes? Polo's own design, a perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels, beyond vengeful Corvax. Nada watches time come and go. We'll ask about Artemis first. A traveler entity, perhaps they are known to you. I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. Interesting, huh? They were lost to us, highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. The Corvax watches me. There is a patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal shell. Ask about Nada. Nada awoke with the death of Corvax Prime, could not understand why such things happen, why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The convergence does not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo Friend. Now, many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but not a happy. Nada's carapace pulses with a gentle light. There is something familiar about them. Ask about Polo. Polo friend found Nada, found my signal. Nada is safe. Now Nada finds other signals, makes others safe. The station has been calling to me since I woke up on the planet. Perhaps it called to Artemis as well. Ask about the space station. Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free. Free like Nada, to observe, to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as they speak. Leave. Speak with Polo, friend Traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. So, here's Polo. We all know Polo. Friends everywhere, if only, know, if only you know where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Artemis, friend, you are where they should be. It does not seem possible, but all things are possible since such is the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace. Ask how. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will know you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. And indeed we do. All right, so good deal. So we can speak to other travelers and uh, things like that and get some base parts along those lines. We all know how this works. So down there is Helios. Let's go talk to Helios. Helios, of course, is handy. He gives out a little bit of nanites from time to time. Ah, young one, you who still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality is long past, but I miss it greatly. He says this every single time you talk to him. So I'm not going to repeat it when I see him in the future. 
Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen, yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery. Give data, this kind of time planets. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. And you get, no, that's not bad, 150 nanites. So that's pretty good. Um, if you also talk to Ares over here, Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. I will help. In exchange, progress for project. Or wealth, perhaps. Experience or materials. Both valid. Today, gold nuggets. So you can exchange materials or gold nuggets for nanites, but you don't get enough for it, so don't bother. Transmit milestone data, though. You can do that. You have seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. Please take this. He gives you more nanites. See? Just got 750 out of them. So I made 900 nanites just by coming here. Uh, looks like we got to go over there and talk to Celine. That is our exosuit upgrade person. I heard whisper of your arrival, Traveler. Traveler knew. I heard the singing of the drones. Their clipped voices speaking in unison of a fresh anomaly. I will aid you. He'll say sometimes a little different things once in a while, but it's no bother. It's really not part of anything. You can research some upgrades here and get some things. A lot of these things you will get as your journey continues. So I wouldn't recommend spending too much on your nanites here uh, on these things. It's really not worth the time. So just keep going. Keep going with what you've got. Okay, and you can get an exosuit upgrade. Every system, if you pull in the anomaly, you can get one more upgrade. But you will have to pay for it. Um, I am going to, I really don't have a lot of room up above. I would like to go ahead and get some more over there. Let's go ahead and put it right there. I think one of those is an upgraded slot. There we go. 203, 200, so we'll put the 203 over here. So it boosts it up to 254, so that'll give us more of a boost. And the next one should be, I think, over here, if I'm not mistaken. All right, good deal. Now, whenever you put into the system, you get a... a a weapon from you will find a similar weapon in the anomaly see now this one's a c-class but it has a supercharged slot but nowhere near enough slots as the same that you have right now see i have this one and then there's this one it's not a bad exchange and this one comes with a plasma launcher which i'm really not keen on because it says as it says they're careless careless use can result in damage to users so if you accidentally shoot nearby you can kill yourself not a good idea I would do it. It's almost worth it, but I've put a lot into this weapon already. I don't know. What else does it have? It has the analysis visor. It's got a scanner. Mining beam. We don't have the bolt caster on it. So, it's kind of tempting to do so, but... I think I'm going to hold off. I'm happy with what I've got. I don't need the one extra charge, extra slot. All right. It also told us to check this out, so let's check it out. We're going to complete out all these little weird little missions. And here we can buy things with our salvage data that we've gathered so far. And as you can see, we get some good stuff. Now, what I would recommend, we've already got the teleport module, right, for creating our base. You want to get a landing pad going as soon as possible. They do take a little bit, as you can see, two ion batteries, two microprocessors, and ten metal plates to build one of these. But they're very handy for when you get back to your base. So go ahead and grab one of those. It's ten salvage data. Keep that in mind. Um, and sooner or later, you're going to want to get a medium refiner, too, because you can put two things in there at once. Okay, so let's move over. Let's just see what else we've got. I want to get to the power. Where is it? Here it is. So we haven't gotten a solar panel yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that because we need to power our base a little bit better. Uh, really thinking about whether I want to do that or not. Hmm. I think the landing pad's a little more important. But let's get the landing pad instead. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. So you can get other stuff. I can get this alternative landing pad for just one more salvage data, but hang on to the salvage data. You're going to use it from now on to buy a lot of different things. So there's too many things to have to get here. Yeah, plants, stuff like that. More things for your base. A lot of them are just, you know, stuff your bases into building, building materials, but they're really, really handy. Don't bother getting this. You'll get it for free later. 
All right, so we got a lot of good things already. Um, I don't know if I want to get anything else. You're going to get that for free. We've already got a portable refiner. All right, let's go ahead and hold off for now. Okay, where else are we going? We're going to go to this guy. Hyperion. So these are the ship upgrades. Uh, let's see. So we will get some scanners later on. I really would like to have the economy scanner. That could come in so handy. I think we should get it. What does it take to build one? Microprocessors and a wire loom. The other things are really neither here nor there. We will get the launch upgrades later on. The auto, auto charger. But I really, really want this economy scanner. Something serious. So let's go ahead and grab that. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab it. All right. And we're going to go ahead and put it in our ship now. We can access the ship even from here. Uh... We don't have a lot of room on our ship, but again, we can always uninstall it, put it in a new ship later on. So now we'll be able to see the economy and systems. All right. So it's telling us to return to Nada. So let's go ahead and do that. We've we've checked out enough of this place. Nada and Polo drift between worlds and worlds. There are many. Have you seen them, traveler friend? Nada wishes they could. Nada regrets much. Ask what to do. Traveler Entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis Entity. Explore with others. Travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, Traveler Entity. We will aid you. Others will aid you also, even if you seek the Crimson Lyre. So, Exploration, Artemis, or the Crimson Lyre. Let's go with Artemis for now, because we're going to complete out that storyline first. Of course, Nada has a small gift for you. Perhaps it will help, perhaps not. Nada and Polo Friend will continue to search. Speak to us whenever you desire. So he gave me a bunch of nanites as well. So we've gotten almost a thousand nanites, well, over a thousand nanites from being on the station. So we're all set there. Let's take a look in here and look at our log now. And you'll notice that we now have secondary missions. It tells us to install a, a pulse spitter, but we aren't going to be doing that right this second. Because even though we could um, do that, yeah, we need deuterium, and it's going to take a while to get that. So I'm going to go ahead and unpin the formula. So you can do that on certain one of these missions. See, these you can't, but this one you can. So that way it doesn't bother us. So we're going to do this alone amidst the stars, and we're going to continue on. And we're down. Okay, here we go. So let's get on to our next stage, and then we're going to go ahead and start shutting down for our mission here, for our episode. Return to space and search for clues about Artemis among the stars. And we desperately need a better ship. For that, we need money. Or a wrecked ship. Let's just see if we get a... Yep, there it is. It looks like Artemis to me. Where? Is there anyone out there? It's outside. It Something's wrong with... Ask what is wrong. I ask the stranger what is wrong. There is a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You you found me. There's so little light, I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? Say you found a crashed ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned shipwreck and how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like... Ask where they are. Fear and confusion dan within, dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You. It lied to me. It lied to all of us. The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on, silent before it too fades into nothingness. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. Now, you'll notice at no point in time did it say he or she, and the arguments come up that Artemis was the huntress. It was, the, it was a goddess, so Artemis must be a she. Makes sense, right? So, base computer archives partially restored. Teleport back instantly using the space station. So, we can go back to our base if we want, or we can continue on. Um, I am going to hit the space station just to see what they've got. Because we got some extra nanites now. 
Shouldn't, it's not going to take us long to get there, obviously. I am looking for a place to put a better base, if you will. So sooner or later, we'll have to come across, I hope, a more paradisaic, paradisaic planet of some sort, and uh, we can make a better place for us. There we go. And in we go. All right. So we are going to head back to our base computer at some point. One of these really long tunnels to get in here. Let's talk to some people, maybe see if we can find a traveler. There we go. Now this is the best way to learn some words. I just suggest learning words, that's about it. Now I'm not even going to bother going through the dialogue on these guys, so we're just going to continue on. Okay. A keen word. There we go. Now this is, you know, you're thinking to yourself, what are you doing this for? Well, I want to get as many words as possible because understanding these words is going to be handy when we land at certain spots. And it's telling me what's going on inside of a space station or something like that where we're trying to Oh, okay. He didn't like what I said. I never had that happen before. That was new. Okay, so I think next time I'll be a little careful about practicing my language skills with these guys. That would be funny. You died on a space station talking to people. Okay. So we're doing good with the Corvax. Okay, we've got another word. Let's get these guys. This is probably an analyst. Is he one of the new ones? Yep. Oh, okay, good. And you. Which is, he's Viking, but I might as well get the word anyway, right? Alright, that should do it. I don't think that, and I don't see any travelers anywhere, so we're good there. All right, good. Anything that we can purchase while we're here? Mm, we got dioxide here. That's always good. He has a good amount. 29,000. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab it. Uh, let's see. And that's pretty much about all anything useful here. Go across the way. We'll check out upgrades. No decent ships. I don't expect to find any, to be honest with you. Yeah. Eight words, huh? Uh, let's see. Volcanic loop silencer, huh? B-class. One upgrade. It's already got a pulse spitter on board. Not interested. You have anything for my multi-tool? Scanner upgrade would be great. Let's see. we got a geology cannon. Plasma launcher. We've got one A-class scanning module, but nah. I'm not really in the mood. Okay, let's skip that. Uh, ship upgrades. We could use a hyperspace upgrade. Okay, what do we got for me? Not C-class. Launch thrusters might not be bad. That could come in handy, making them a little bit more, uh, you know, able to handle things. We do have an A-class. How much? How many nanites we got? And these are 613. Yeah, we're not going to have enough to get both. Uh, it's a really hard decision because the photon cannon module is not a bad idea either. Because we're going to need to defend ourselves. Alright, we can do this. We won't have enough to get anything else really. Including the hyperdrive so we have less than that. But we do need the photon upgrade. Which right now it's it's doing okay. I'll put you over here, and we need to get that. Oop. So we have another hyperdrive, hyper warp cell in there, so we can go to another system if we want. 
All right, let's go ahead and upgrade. Plus three fire rate. Plus seven damage. Oh, good. It's the same. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I like that. Okay, good. And again, you know, hopefully we can get a new ship sooner or later, right? I don't think we can go to a dissonant system yet, but we'll check in a minute. And the next upgrade, like I said, I think is over here. Let's try it. It's either that or the one next to it. Yep, got it. That's good. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to put my life support in there. And that'll help that a little bit more. I should really go... I wonder if I shouldn't go with my shield. My hazard protection. I'm going to put that in there. Okay. That'll work better, I think. Because that'll boost this up. Core health has increased a little bit. And so is my shield strength. So that'll help in protecting me. All right, that should that should work for now. Any half decent ships here? Yeah, that one would have been nice, but oh well, is what it is. All right, so we're nearing the end of our episode, folks. Let's do one more jump. Go to our next system. Anomaly. That's odd. Okay. Oh, it's it's sending me down to the anomaly. I'm not really interested in an Atlas station. We're really going to go on our Galactic Core mission. Why did it send me to a different spot? Let me check something here real quick. I think our... Oh, okay. That's because it's sending us here. All right. So we're going to go back there. Try that again. Okay. Galactic Core. Galactic Core is more what we're interested in. Okay. So. And we want to go here, I think. So now if we hit the R button, we'll get a, we'll get a firm visu, visu, visibility, visual on what we want to see. But remember, I wanted to find a dissident system. I don't know if I can go there yet. Let me check. Okay, water. Water. You want to look for something that isn't water. This in it. And it's at a jump range, but it's not telling us I can't go there, so that's a good thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a dissident system. We're going to go there, and we will just end the episode there. Indium drive required. That was really far away. I don't know why it's not finding me something closer. Pirate system and dissident. Hmm dissonant, which means we'd be safe there for the most part. we got to be careful, but it might be worth the risk. I think I want to do it. I think I want to do this, because this is going to be worth the risk to me. We'll go ahead and do it. All right. Okay, so we got to be careful here. Where's our space station at? Good. All right, let's check out the planetary systems real quick. All the planets here. Hollow Terminus, and that's our dissonance detected. That's the scaly planet. So I don't think we're going to find any ships there, unfortunately. Unless there's more than one world that's dissonant. Oh, ships arriving are driving me nuts. Okay, nothing. I think it gypped us. Yep, alright, we got to get going. It's alright. We're going to escape them by heading into the space station. And made it. <laughs> All right. 
So we're going to hold off here for just a moment. So this is where we're going to end the episode. So we do have a dissonant uh, planet here. We can get radiant shards and all kinds of other things there. The only problem is that we will have to... We may not find what we need on the planet. We're not going to probably find any ships there. Any crash ships that we really need. Because it's not the right kind of planet. So we may have to look for a new system. So maybe that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little ship searching next time. I'll make a note of that. And we'll look for a new ship that I can get in place of this radiant pillar that I've got right now. And we'll go from there. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And see, see you all in the next episode. Take care.